fine and I hope you are taking care of yourself there at home by sanitizing your hands and wearing a mask so as to prevent yourself against this pandemic disease corona. I'm Madam Glory. I'm going to teach you operation in fraction. In operation fraction, we are going to learn on how to add fraction. But first of all, let us define fraction. What is fraction? Fraction is a part of a group or a part of a whole. Part, fraction is a part of a group or a part of a whole. Now, let us see how does a part of a group or a part of a whole by using an orange. Now, we say fraction is a part of a group or a part of a whole. You can see here I have two oranges. I have two oranges. We said fraction is a part of a group. Now, if I'm going to remove one orange, this will be one over two. I have two oranges. I removed one. So the fraction of this group, we have a group of two orange, will be one over two or a half. When we say the part of a whole, I have a whole orange, one orange, a whole orange. I'm going to cut it at the middle. I've cut my orange to get the two parts. You see here, I have two parts of a whole orange. Now, if one part of this orange is removed, this will be equal to one over two. One over two, two parts. So, the fraction will be equal to one over two, or a half. We are calling it a half because the two parts are equal. So, this is a half. If I'm going to cut again, so as to get the four parts. You see, I've cut my orange and I got four parts. The four parts are here. One, two, three, four. If one part of this orange is removed. We are going to refer as 1 over 4. This is one part out of four parts. 1, 2, 3, 4 is removed. So 1 out of four parts is removed. 1 over 4 or a quarter. This is a quarter. This shows us, this shows us what does the word fraction mean? A part of a group or a part of a whole. Now, let us see more example these drawings. As you can see here, we have drawings which are shaded by using colors. This drawing here, we have four parts. One, two, three, four. One part is shaded. One part is colored. You see this color part. So, we are going to refer it as one part out of four parts is shaded. One part out of four parts is shaded. One over four or a quarter. Coming to another example, we have this drawing here. Two parts are shaded out of four parts. The fraction of it will be two over four. So two parts are shaded out of four parts. Again, here, we have also the shaded parts. The shaded parts are one, two, three. Out of one, two, three, four parts. So three parts out of four parts are shaded. Three parts out of four parts are shaded. Again, here, we have a drawing which is having four parts. But the four parts, all of them, are shaded. The fraction of it will be four over four. Four parts out of four parts are shaded. 
So 4 over 4 is equal to 1 or a whole, meaning that the whole drawing is shaded. Now, children, you have see how does the word fraction meaning when we say fraction is a part of a group or a part of a whole. Now, we have the common fraction as you learn in class 3. We have a half, the common fraction which are used in daily life. For instance, if you are going to buy a sugar, you might say you, are, you need a half of sugar or you need a half of oil, cooking oil. Those are common fractions which are used in daily life. We have also three quarter. Three quarter is equal to three over four. We have two third. Two third is equal to two over three. So you can write fraction as two third or two over three. Those are common fraction. After seeing the meaning of fraction, examples of different fractions. Let us see the parts of a written fraction. Parts of a written fraction. Now, as you can see here, we have two over three. Two over three. This is a written fraction. We have numbers, we have two numbers here. Number two and number three. And two is on top of number three. The upper number, the top number, is known as numerator. This number, top number of a fraction, is known as numerator. While the lower number, or the bottom number, number three, is known as denominator. So, the upper number of a fraction, written fraction, is known as numerator, while the lower number is known as denominator. Now, let us see how we can add fraction. When we add fraction, Today we are going to see how we can add fraction with the same denominators, with the same law numbers. Examples. You have 1 over 8 plus 2 over 8. Mind you, if you are having the fraction with the same denominators, the same law numbers, what we are going to do here, we are going to deal with only numerators, the upper numbers of a fraction. Example, 1 over 8 plus 2 over 8. The numerators here, we have 1 and 2. And denominators, we have number 8. When we add fraction with the same denominators, we're going to add only the top numbers. So we are going to take number 1, this one, plus number 2. When you take 1 plus 2, the answer will be equal to 3. So we are going to write 3 over 8, the same denominator, the same denominator. So as you can see here, we have number 8 remain the same and to the end. So what we are going to deal here, we are going to deal only with number, the top numbers. Again, example B, we have number 4, fraction 4 over 12, plus 3 over 12. What we are going to deal here, we are dealing only with, only with numerators. So we are going to take number 4 plus number 3. When you take 4 plus 3, the answer will be equal to 7. Number 12, we are going to write the same denominator as it was here. So you see here, the same numbers which appear here, number 12. So this is how we add the fraction in the same denominator. Again, example C. We have 2 over 10 plus 1 over 10. We are going to deal with only numerators. So numerators here, we have number 2 and number 1. So we are going to take number 2 plus 1 over 10, the same denominator, the same number. When you take 2 plus 1, the answer will be equal to 3. So we are going to write 3 over 10. The same number, it appears here, number 10. So the same denominators, we are going to write it as it is. Well, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I'm going to give you more exercise 
so as to perform addition of fraction with the same denominators. And I hope you are going to take care of yourself there at home by sanitizing your hands, wearing a mask, avoid the unnecessary movement, do your work which you are given by your teachers because we need you back. Mind you, Corona is still there and people are still dying. Bye.